sounds uh, coming from our new module series. So in this video I will present you, uh, I will make a brief presentation of Hysteria, the VCO module. So let me unpatch everything for the purpose of this video. So Hysteria is a VCO module as I already mentioned. Uh, let me use an attenuator to control the sound coming out of it. Yeah. So Hysteria has nine patch points where I will show you exactly. It's like the first one is the one volt per octave input to control the pitch of the module. The second one is just a plain CV input with a, a level control. A sync input to hard sync the, the hysteria with another oscillator. A pulse output with that you can sync other oscillators or you can use it as a clock. A main output where you get the main waveform out of hysteria. And then you have four CV inputs that correspond to the sliders above them where those four sliders are actually divided in two areas. It's the tune control and the waveform control. Where in the tune control you also have the quantize button that works along with them. So let's, let's start with the waveform. So you have a variable waveform, you don't have a, a button or a switch to change between waveforms here. There you go, and you can of course modulate that. There you go. And you also have a variable width for some of the these waveforms, except those that have the dots right next to them. For example, here. Or here. And you can go through zero. Most of this, and you can also send high frequencies in here. For example, you could send another slater. That's about the waveform. It's very versatile and, in my opinion, much more better than just choosing a wave like so to the sign, etc. Not to mention that all the module is analog, nothing digital in here except the quantized mode, which I will go through right now. Let's go to a sine wave. So where you, you're not on quantized mode, these octave and semi sliders serve as coarse tuning. And fine tuning. When you hit uh, the quantize button, these are just, uh, now they're, they're the octaves. semitones. And you can of course modulate them. And you can... There you 
ja. What's great about them is that you always know that you're in tune. For example, I I always know that I'm an, 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 on a C note. And it's very, very practical, especially when you're using this for a live performance. You can actually play with it like I did on the intro of this video. And the range of this is uh, from 17 Hz, about 17 Hz, which is the, the first C, up to here, which is for whales, I guess, it's like uh, 32,000 kilohertz. Which is more than enough. And that's about it. <laughs> 